Pete's sakes, before I make her disappear for good. No, 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 no violence. She has no right to be here. She's definitely no right to be here. Do something, please. All I do is civil ceremonies. This is a chapel of love. All are welcome here. Okay, fine. Nobody else will. I'll take the trash out. There's something you have to hear for your own good, Jack. And you're going to hear it whether you like it or not. Nobody needs to hear anything from you. You have gotten everything that you're ever going to get. You have done more than your fair share of damage. And why don't you just do us all a favor and vanish? Why don't we all just calm down? Why don't we all stop trying to rationalize why that woman is here? Now get her out of here, Hal. For Pete's sake. Barbara. What is wrong with the two of you? Jack, do something. Barbara. Get her before it's too late. Barbara, Jack. you're just going to have to mind your own business. What? Are you defending that again? I think Jack is smart enough to make up his own mind. You're right, Hal. And so am I. Those marriage vows you wanted me to renew, forget it. The words would stick in my throat. Everybody just, just hold on a minute. Please. Please don't let her do this. This is our day. Don't let her ruin everything. No, no, she won't. She can't. Hey, you know what? This will only take a minute. And then she'll be gone. For good. I promise. Yes. Have I ever broken a promise to you? Ever? I'll be back. Let me put this to rest. Once and for all. Say, say it, and leave. Not just Vegas. My life. Fine. I'm here for one reason, and one reason only, Jack. To stop you from making the biggest mistake of your life. I have already made one monumental mistake in my life, and you know what that was? Let me give you a clue. It was a mistake that ended with me standing alone for you at the altar. Waiting for you. Making excuses for you. Telling everybody, no, just, just a few more minutes. She'll be here. She wouldn't do this to me. Not this time. I know if it was in your heart to hate anybody, it would most likely be me. And I guess it does seem suspiciously like I'm here to crash your wedding. Oh, I see. So it's just a strange coincidence you being in Vegas on my wedding day. What is the rush, Jack? This is a wedding factory. They crank them out one every 15 because minutes. Because the sooner Julia and I get married... The sooner you can try to forget about me... You think once you slide a ring on her finger, it's going to burn me from your brain? You make her your wife, and I'll magically disappear from your subconscious. It's not going to happen, Jack. Because it's not over. It'll never be over Trust between me, us. It was over the minute you turned your back on me. I never turned my back on you. You are all I thought about. All I dreamed about. Alone. At night, I could feel the heat of you in my bed. And I know you were feeling it, too. Even now, I can feel your heart beating from here. We're a part of each other, Jack. And no ceremony is going to change that, and you know it's true. Not for you, maybe. But not for me. Harley, wake up. Life moved on while you were gone. I moved on. You rushed into this, this thing no, with no, Julia. This, the, the, with you, that was a thing. A very bad thing that I was able to get past. But with Julia... This is love. She makes me happy. I never have to worry about if she's telling me the truth or what her next scheme is going to be or, or if today's going to be the day that she pulled the plug on my dreams. So she's dependable and trustworthy and makes really fine company. Well, if that's what you want, Jack, I suggest you get a retriever, but don't marry her. If you cared about Julia at all, you wouldn't rush into some... Pathetic drive-by ceremony at the Hitchin Post. Everything about it. I know everything about it. Everything about you. And if you get married... It's when I get married. Come, you're unbelievable. Get it through your head. I have a life. A life that has nothing to do with you. And I know, I know you, you have a tough time conceiving of that. So let me tell you something. Why don't you stay and watch? Take a good look at the bride and groom. Maybe you'll be able to see what you've been refusing to see because it's happening, Carly. 
No matter what you say, no matter what your deluded mind believes, you can't stop this. I'm getting married. It won't last, Jack. It can't. Because you're still in love with me. I saw it in your eyes, plain as day, at the hospital after we saw each other after all that time. You loved me. Listen, I know you've been under a lot of stress the past few weeks. What was losing your husband, worrying about Parker, coming back to a place where no one really wants you around anymore, all right? So it's only natural that you would want to come back to a place that's warm and safe. But that ship has sailed. I'm not the same man you left at the altar. Some things, the deepest, truest things about us, they never change, Jack. We know each other better than anyone. All those nights we spent tangled up in each other, sharing our dreams, our secrets. Mm, yeah. And then there was that minor detail that you were still married. So how is it that during all that sharing, that never made the cut for conversation? And some things you can pretend away. And some things you can't let go of, no matter how hard you try. I know you know what I mean. I hurt you when I left, and I will regret that for the rest of my life. And if you want to hurt me, no, it's in the past, girl. And hurt me. Call me names. Spread vicious rumors about me, or the truth, for that matter. Make up a, a whole new way of revenge that lasts a lifetime. I can take it. I can take it, and worse for what I've put you through. But to marry someone you don't love, that hurts you more than it hurts me. Don't hurt yourself to get back at me. This isn't about you. It's had nothing to do with you. Why don't you be honest with yourself, Jack? Or be honest with Julia, at the very least. If you marry her, she will suffer more than either one of us. Are you threatening her? Are you threatening us? No. Listen, and listen good. This is coming straight from the heart. You walked out of my life. And that's exactly where you belong. So get out, Carly. Get out. Do you hear me? And stay out. <laughs>